You know what it is? Yes, I have. And you know what it is? It's this like in Saskatchewan, there's this real lazy way of speaking. And we speak out of the back of our mouth. And it's like, there's not a lot of jaw movement or anything like that. But then I took a standard North American dialect class in Toronto for acting. And I just kind of made my accent more American all the time. So I don't need to worry about it. And what that did is it started rounding out all the sounds. And then all of a sudden the, the voice just started sounding like McConaughey. And I was like, Oh, for Christ's sake. Cause when I was auditioning, I had this casting director friend. She's like, she's like, Eric, we need to see you. We can't have another McConaughey. And I'm like, I'm not trying to do it. I'm like, that's just, I'm like, that's how it sounds. But yeah, yeah, that is a thing. Yeah. A thing. Well, listen, because this is a podcast, people can't see you, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't so, look like on it. So, so thank you, Matthew McConaughey, for joining me today. On all right, podcast. all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, right. that's... everything's good down in Texas now. Don't you worry. Right. That's hilarious. That's. I love your book, by the way, Matthew. Actually, I haven't read it. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading all the news, the news blips about it, and I'm like, oh, cool, man. I'm like, he's had a, a cool journey. I'm like, I dig it. I'm down to read that. I love memoirs, man. Biographies of people. I'm yeah. Like, you get the truth. You get the inner details of their life and all, all the nuances and mm. the little secrets. And it's like, oh, and then you start to realize that we're a lot more alike than we are different. I'm like, yeah, it's really that's interesting. The cool stuff, yeah. We, what, uh, what have you read recently? Well, I just finished reading A Life, which is Keith Richards' biography. How was that? You know what? It was freaking awesome, man. It was really, it was like, he just didn't hold the thing back. And if he was going to talk smack about somebody, he just, he's like, I'm sorry to this person. But he's like, this is how I felt about the situation. And he's like, this is the truth and of how he experienced things. And it was raw. It was just a very raw account of his life. And it was, it was very, a very cool read. Very, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. How the right? heck does that guy remember anything, man? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you know what he does when he doesn't remember? He yeah. gets accounts from other people who do remember. And okay. so you get these nice, like, little one, two-page quotes of oh. other people telling their point of view of the story. And then Keith's like, yeah, that makes sense. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> if, you say, if you say that happened. Yeah. I actually had this guy, a fan of mine. Um, he sent me this big, long, crazy email maybe three weeks ago. And he goes on a rant. He must have wrote like a, I would want to say like probably a five, six page. Like if it was on a full word document, five, six page email. And he's like, I don't mean to be, I know this must sound creepy and I must sound like a stalker and this and that and blah, blah. He's like, I watch your videos on, you know, ayahuasca and Vipassana. And he's like, you said you're open to learning and whatnot. And he's like, if you sent me your address, I'd love to buy you a copy of the, the Quran. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so I didn't give him my address, and I didn't respond to the email, although I will. But I was like, you know what? I, I need to give the Quran a, a reading. I've always wanted to read the Quran. Yeah. So I just actually picked it up from the library today. And I'm actually super excited to read this. I, I've, I've, heard, I've read references from other uh, spiritual books that the Quran actually holds a lot of truth to it. And so, yeah, exactly. And that's what I said. Interesting. And so I'm really curious to see what it is about this book that has, you know, uh, really taken over a whole culture and, and a lot of people just take it as the ultimate truth. And I'm like, yeah. well, let's see what the heck it's about. Where, where did you get this, this curi this drive of curiosity? How, how did you develop that? Were yeah. your parents curious? Were you, were yeah, they... well, no, it was, I know my mom, my mom always wanted us to be like, the smartest kids around mm -hmm. and so with like both sets of grandparents were there and we had extended family everywhere helping raise us and so it was always encouraged to learn everything you know arts your parents taught us art and drawing and painting and arts and crafts and and then in school it was really pushed upon us to study and to really care about what we were learning and so my brother and I were both, we love school. Like we mm. really enjoyed learning all the subjects. And then it was like, you know, I was big into sports too. So it was always, I wanted to explore different sports and what I like. But my dad always used to say, he's like, he came, he came from a business kind of background. He was in the